My name is Anika Jones and this is my mural. I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago. I was always into drawing. As I kind of grew through my artistic abilities, I realized that I had a passion for color and painting and sculpture and using my hands. And I had actually won a national scholarship and that allowed me to study in the United States. So I actually chose the University of Tampa, not just for the campus itself because it's amazing, but also because the art program there was very versatile and diverse and it allowed me to experiment a lot more and that kind of led to my style now which is experimental and mixed media. Four months after graduating I decided to continue making artwork because it was my passion and it wasn't just that I wanted to go to school for art. And I had seen an email with the subject title, Time Magazine Cover Art Group. Now, at first, I was a little bit skeptical because I thought it was a scam. I didn't understand my work could actually be on the cover of Time Magazine. I was also shocked to receive an invitation from Shine Mural Festival in St. Pete, especially because it was my first outdoor mural. This year, it, I think it was perfect for me to be included because it focused on environmental issues and dealing with ocean preservation. It was something that dealt with activism and using art for a purpose. So I knew that it was something there to my heart and that was when I decided I actually wanted to collaborate with another artist from town called Bianca Boru. We decided to focus on overfishing as we felt that it was something that a lot of people overlook and it was driven by greed uh, and money and it was something that is very dangerous to society currently. This mural is actually a mural that uses color symbolism and portraiture and different symbols within it that kind of force you to look into this narrative and develop your story on your own. Again, I thought this was a scam. Not only was it legit, but it was something that I really felt like my art would connected with and would be able to tell a story about. They actually wanted to commission me to paint a portrait of Pamela Harris and her being from the Caribbean or having Caribbean roots was something that I connected with because I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I'm a woman, a black woman, a woman of color. And for her to be the first female vice president was something that was historic. This portrait was very symbolic and kind of iconic for a lot of young girls and young girls of color to look at this portrait and feel that there's an essence or a strong presence of this message that they can achieve great things and they can be the first, but they will definitely not be the last. Don't be afraid of taking any risk. Start the Instagram that you're thinking about starting. Start the Facebook page that you're thinking of starting. Get your name out there as much as you can. Take part in different art festivals and all of that involves having confidence and taking risks. And I think without taking risks, you're not gonna be able to get any reward um, or you're not gonna be able to fail and learn from your mistakes. 10 years from now, I see myself as a multifaceted full-time artist, uh, a gallery owner who has had several solo shows as well as group shows but also someone who has fostered a community of other artists and emerging artists because I feel like it's so important in establishing that connection and not only that connection but a connection for young artists to understand that yes, you can be successful as an artist and yes, you can have a career as an artist and a long-term career as an artist. So it's important for me to not only experience these achievements right now but in 10 years, I want to be able to give back in some way because I feel like it's important for people like me. Right now, a lot of people have given me that opportunity and have given back and that's why I am where I am right now. So I can't wait to see where I am in 10 years and I can't wait to start developing the art community uh, in a couple of years from now.